So if you think of migrations of the workload automation product, um, as a conclusion already at the beginning, we can say it is work, yes, but it's probably less work than you might think. Is it risk? Yes, it bears risk as any IT project, but we know how to manage the risk in order to minimize it. But it is possible to find a perfect approach for each organization. What do we mean with that is, if you think of a, um, a scale from doing lift to shift to full optimal use of Redwood, you can decide on where to, what to achieve within those two ends of that scale. The work involved starts with training, uh, in terms of enabling the customer to get a basic understanding of the Redwood technology. Then we define standards, organizational standards, naming conventions, these things that help us structure what we want to do. We configure those fundamentals in the system. We connect uh, Redwood Run My Jobs to the application landscape of the customer. And then we start to migrate the automations that are in place to, uh, and then end with finally testing, reviewing and going live with all of these processes. The key question is how can we continue operations without interruption as we are migrating? And we believe that a phased approach is the best approach to it. As we are migrating these blocks of independent automations, typically we'll start with less risky blocks of automations to build up your confidence, to build up your understanding of Redwood and to gain more self-confidence with it in order to take on the bigger and more complicated or more, more important and more risky chunks uh, uh, throughout the migration process. There is no golden bullet to it. It's really about using all the expertise that we have and all the tooling that we have to help the customer in their individual approach to succeed in the best possible way.